What's up guys, so today I am doing something called the EPL and what that is is it's like a VGC Battle League um, and uh, oh, I gotta pick my team <laughs> and um, and it's all it's kind of like a VGC draft league type thing uh, you've seen it with like the MPA um, it's kind of but it also reminds me of the It also reminds me of like um, like the single uh, draft leagues because there's not really teams. It's just kind of um, there's different coaches. And with those coaches, we have our own teams except for this time. Uh, each week we have one Pokemon that we have to choose. It's kind of an off pick and we try to build around it and make it more fun. Um, and that's something that I'm really actually looking forward to. So this is my first one. They just had a spot open up and they asked me to join and I just like jumped on it because I was really excited. Um, and it looks like we're getting into the battle. So, okay, I'm nervous. Throw, kiss the, kiss the regional sign. Throw up a prayer to Arceus. Okay, so this is my first opponent of my entire EPL career. Um, and the Pokemon I chose was Empoleon, and it looks like he chose um, Clay Doll. So we'll see. We'll see what we'll do here. Um, I'm gonna go Smeargle. I'm gonna go Smeargle Feramosa, and then I'm gonna go. Um, hmm. Then I'm gonna go. Uh, I don't want to do Empoleon here. Then I'll do my own Kartana. And I'll do Porygon. Actually, maybe I should have chose Empoleon because it could have, probably could have been a good uh, pivot mon because it's pretty bulky. Uh, it's still water type is pretty good. It's not threatened by a ton of stuff, but um, I don't know. <laughs> So we're gonna get into battle here. Let's go, 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 Um also I'm sorry that the quality isn't like capture card. Mine won't work. So I have to result to this. So bear with me, please. So for this one, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to I'm gonna actually just uh Spore the Landorus. And I'm gonna U-turn on up out of here. I'm gonna U-turn. Hmm, actually, maybe I don't wanna do that. I think what I'm actually gonna do is um, fake out the Pidgeot. And U-turn off the Landorus. Okay, that's good. This that's good to know that it's not a uh, scarf, Landorus. That's all I really needed to know is if it was scarf or not. Because I'm pretty sure I still outspeed both of these. So I am going to spore the land. Actually, yeah, I'll spore the Landorus. We'll do it, and we'll you turn off of the Pidgeot this time. Okay, it didn't do, it did decent damage. I didn't think it'd do too much. Um, and I'm actually just going to put in Porygon Z here. Actually, maybe I'll do Kartana. Cause I feel like I want to save Porygon Z for like a late game. Uh-huh. Okay, so I've pretty much figured out his entire team at this his entire 
Like his biggest threat to my team was that Landorus, and that's really all I needed to know. Okay, no guard, huh? Spore was a good idea there then. So now what we're going to do is we are going to Spore the Pidgeot, because I feel like he has to go for... He has to go for the Kartana at this point, or risk getting um, some big damage or getting me beast boosts. And so I'm going to go for the Spore. Yeah. So this gives me a free switch in to um, uh, Porygon Z. Which I'm hoping can pretty much carry me through the rest of the game where Pheromosa can just kind of clean up. Because now both of them are asleep. And you notice my team is very 2017. Um, this is a team that I kind of used in 2017. So... I'm kind of I'm more familiar with it, and and Empoleon happened to fit actually kind of well onto the team. It covered some weaknesses. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow me, and we're just gonna Z move and boost. Because I feel like he's trying to do like Fisher, like no guard Fisher type thing. I'm sorry it keeps like going in and out like that. That's kind of annoying. I wish there was a way I could just kind of lock that. Yeah. Again, I'm sorry that it's just kind of like me recording the screen. Um, but that's the only way I had to do it. So. It's the best I got. <laughs> Alright. At this point. I'm not worried about... So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spore the Pidgeot. And I'm going to Ice Beam the Landorus. Because now if Pidgeot wakes up... Okay. Alright. Tailwind is an issue, because now he's free to either Earthquake or Fisher. I've only seen a couple moves. I haven't seen really anything. I've seen Protect, and then its other move. I haven't seen what else it has, so I have no idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Spore Landorus, and I'm just going to Protect. It's, a, it's the safe move. I think it's the best move right now. I'm in a good position still. There's no reason for me to kind of like uh, over predict. There it is, Fisher. Yep. Okay, I knew it. And I'm just jamming to tunes right now. So I'm feeling it. Okay, follow me, and Ice Beam. So now Landers has a guaranteed turn of sleep here. And Pidgeotto can wake up, but again, Pidgeotto does not have uh, uh, no guard anymore. So it's Hurricane becomes a lot less threatening to me, and I'm honestly not too worried about it. Yeah, see that's fine. Unless it was like roleplay. I actually didn't see what it was. It might have been roleplay actually, so it probably still has no guard, because I'm pretty sure the genies get the genies get roleplay. Okay. The only thing I really was worried about uh, Pidgeotto having was if it had like whirlwind, because that would be a disaster. <laughs> oh, it might have haze. Ooh, he might have haze actually.
Uh... Okay, we're just gonna follow me again. And we're just gonna Thunderbolt. Now, do I want to make a read here? Yeah, I'm gonna just go. I'm just gonna go. Just go for the Pidgeotto. Get that out of the way. Because if it has Haze, oh no, it's faster. How slow is this Pidgeotto? I don't think this should do too much. The fact he didn't go for Haze right there makes me believe that it is just um, is just like a normal Tapu Tapu Finny. Claydock could be a problem. There's no more Tailwind on their side. We're gonna U-turn the clay doll, and we're gonna thunderbolt the finny. Oh, it's fast! Oh, ooh! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I just need this. Come on. Yes! Ah, yes! Ah. <laughs> good, 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 good. Good game, good first game. It is best of three, so we got one more game. Gotta win one more. We're getting into the... Getting into the second battle here. I have found out some very interesting things about his Pokemon, such as um, the Landorus is not Scarfed, which is very important for a team with Z conversion uh, electricity. So we are going to, I'm just gonna lead Porygon 2 and Smeargle this time, fearing that Landorus a lot less. Uh, I think Feramosa is still an excellent late game sweeper. Do I want to bring Cartana this time? I mean, not Cartana, Empoleon. No, I think I'm just going to stick with those regular four. I think I'm just going to rearrange them. Okay. All right, same thing. Kiss the plaque. Mwah. Send a prayer up. Master Arceus. Grant me power. So I'm in a Z conversion. And I'm just going to fake out the Kartana. Knowing that the Tapu Fini is scarfed. I'm assuming that is either AV or Focus Sash. Please don't lower my accuracy. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, RNG. So, perfect position here. I can wide guard and I can just kind of ignore the Finny at this point. I did not reveal Wide Guard in my first game. That was something that I wanted to conceal for the second game in case it popped up. Um, so at this point, I'm just gonna Thunderbolt the Kartana. Why do I Thunderbolt instead of Ice Beam? Because it does just as much as Ice Beam. So we are going to Wide Guard and take care of it all. And that will protect me from any of the muddy water. So now we're gonna see what item this Kartana has. I'm assuming, I honestly think it's a salt vest. I really think it was a salt vest. 
because he didn't because I feel like there's no reason why he should have shouldn't I feel like he should have protected that first turn. Okay, I'm just gonna thunderbolt the Pidgey out this time once again. I have no reason, no reason whatsoever to go for the Finny. I have wide guard. I outspeed. And right now, I, th I feel like this is game. Right now, I feel like I have it. I mean, I outspeed Feramosa. And if my Feramosa is faster than the Pidgeot, I'm not worried about it. I'm just going over calcs in my head, trying to figure out if there's any way. Okay, protect. Gotcha. I'm still going to wide guard here. I still have most of my HP on Porygon. I'm still going to wide guard. I'm just going to Thunderbolt. This will protect me from... I mean, he has to hit a Fissure here. <laughs> this will get rid of the threat to my Kartana, giving me a second option in the back if this does hit. Smackdown. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, but now he's going to have to make a choice here. Because Muddy Water will not be enough. Muddy Water will not be enough to take out my Kartana. He, ha he has to have some sort of plan in the back if he wants to take care of this. Thunderbolt, the top of Finny, want it gone. I want it out here. And then Leaf Blade, the Landorus. I'm not intimidated. I do have kind of minimal attack investment. Okay, it's all going to come down if he gets the accuracy drop. And if I miss. Okay. But I know he doesn't have Earthquake, so he has to hit Fissures. Man, Landorus is a bulky. Yeah, zero play. Beast boost. Yeah, that's kind of a fun little, uh, it's kind of, a f what does like a zero play do? Does it like race your speed or something? Like, that's kind of a fun little, uh, little trick. Like, I would not have expected that. Like, I mean, that, like, good for you, man. Like, that's creative. I like that. Yeah, it raises your speed, 100%. Nice. GG, man. Good games. That was fun. Oh, that was fun. I'm glad I got to do this on the uh, 3DS. I don't get much practice on the 3DS. And honestly, it kind of messes me up when when I uh, go to like in life tournaments and I've just been playing Showdown. You know, it, it's it's a nice little like uh, it's a nice little practice because I get just get, I get thrown off like the animations are different. I don't have everything I need right there, so it it messes with me a little bit. But so I'm glad I got to got to do that. Okay. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being patient with my setup right now. It's just kind of my iPhone filming my uh, my 3ds, but I'll try to you know I'll try to make it look as nice as I can. Uh, hope you enjoyed the battles and. Tune in to the other EPL battles. I got, I'll got. i put all of their channels in the description. That way you can go watch everybody else's. It's a f I think it's a great idea. Um, I just like the idea of, of choosing different Pokemon to kind of build around. I didn't bring in Poli on this game. I didn't need it. 
Um, it just kind of worked out better with uh, my Porygon Z and Smeargle leads. So I'm going to get the heck out of here, guys. I hope you have a good day, night, evening, whatever it is. Keep practicing, keep battling, and I'll see you on the ladder.